All right, Florian, yet another new feature for Hi, and, um, VRED 2018.2. Um, so what, what's this one all about? So this is uh, the improvement of the image-based lightning for OpenGL. Okay. So we have here now uh, improvements f um, for the environment in um, and in basically for real-time shadows. What I can show you now here. So we have uh, a HDRI environment, which is a normal thing. And uh, we have many different light sources, but the the thing is, we don't have any shadow, any real time shadow on the on the floor right now. Because that's typically just ray tracing, where you can see exactly. The shadows, and uh, right? normally, you should create basically a light for that, a light object. Yep. So so you create a light um, in order to get a shadow on right. the ground. But see, when you are yeah changing, for example, an environment, right. you have to change the light situation yeah. as well mm -hmm. and therefore you have to change the lights uh, and all this stuff which makes you really unflexible right and now we have the a big opportunity we have a new uh, area here in the hdri in the material editor which is called shadows and illumination mm -hmm. and we can create now shadows by based from the hdri so okay. in that Example I can show you here, we have zero light sources now. So let's change that and put in one light sources. Um, one light source. And what is it doing? It will grab the lightest or brightest point, brightest light from out of this HDRI and will create an internal light source. That is it. So there will be no node created. So this is just internally. Okay. And um, what you can see, I can you can imagine that this will be grabbed. Mm -hmm. From here, from the so street just light. So basically, it calculates within the scene the HDRI, and it just grabs the brightest light source exactly, and uses that as the point source to cast a shadow. Exactly. Okay. So we are supporting now here up to two hundred fifty-six lights. Oh wow! Um, Good grief! Let's let's do another example. Let's say I'm increasing that to two. And uh, now it will take oh, the wow. second light source, right. the second brightest light source gotcha. as well. Which seems which... to be from that sign over there. The... Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. And yeah, additionally, make a third one. And you can see uh, we have now three lights. So we are supporting here as well uh, 8K and 16K shadow maps. Which is great. What, what does that have, mean? Um, that means um, that you can basically change the resolution of the shadow map. So we have here a texture based shadow, right? Um, and you can change the resolution here. Gotcha. Additionally, I can show you basically the other features that we have. We have the um, material shadow intensity. Let's zoom a little bit onto the mirror where we have. Uh, you see that shadow, the shadow of the, right? of yeah. the mirror. Uh -huh. And, um, oh, and right. as well, uh, have a look onto the shadows of the interior. So the interior oh, right. uh, is shadowed as well, and uh, yeah, you can perfectly control that now yeah. in real time. That's awesome. Additionally, the next shader uh, slider, sorry, is uh, the ground intensity, ground shadow intensity, and you can see in your and now it's zero. Yeah. It's gone away. Yep. And it's one, it's there. We can also increase that to, let's say, two. And uh, So when you actually increase the ground shadow intensity, that in increases the intensity of all the shadows that it has picked up. Exactly. Right, okay. Yeah, exactly. We have a map filter radius, uh, just a filter thing. And um, now I, the next thing is just to, to make it clear that we have here now a, a real-time shadow is um, let's, for example, rotate the the complete environment, and um, what is happening now is you can see the shadows is are moving as well. No, oh, because the light so, sources are changing around too, aren't they? When you're moving the environment. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this is so that's perfect. really showing that the light sources are coming from the environment. Yeah. Right. Excellent. So now we are much more flexible with uh, our environments. Very cool. That's it. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Flo. Thank you very much, Anna.